Thank you for staying with us. Now we have Excel Adeleye Samuel. is a professional counselor, psychoanalyst, chartered mediator, and a sage. He is the host of Stress-Free Parenting Coaching Class and Sprinkle Single Support Group for Divorcees. Now remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wish Africa One with the hashtag Waze, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 Thank you so much, Excel, for coming. <laughs> I mean, you, you were listening to, to the conversation. Wow. It was so <laughs> mind-blowing wow. because two different sing scenarios, but same the circumstance same. for their becoming single the parents, parents. Yeah. same divorce and all of that, yeah. but two yeah. different entities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how, because I don't even want us to go to the problem. We don't have time. Mm. We know that the family is the bedrock of the society, right? Mm. And we know that single parenting will continue to grow. As long as you are human, there will be controversies and all or, um, irreconcilable differences. Yes, yes, That's yes, the word. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So how do we make it work? You know, and what is the right way to go about single parenting? Okay, let, let me first say that um, for every single parent out there, um, even for those who are widows or widower, um, I want to say kudos to them because our society does not recognize them. Exactly. Our society sometimes believe, I don't want to use the mean, but ignorance in, in quote. Let's use the word ignorance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's painful. I, I, I'm in a particular group of um, uh, those who lost their, their spouse. And it's mm -hmm. amazing how uh, they are being treated uh, mm -hmm. by the society. Even some people after the burial ceremony, nobody show up and they leave mm -hmm. them for these children. Some in the university paying bills, paying rent and all that. So um, I, I want to say um, well done for everybody who is in this situation. However, the reality is that they need help. And, 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 and the first thing anybody needs to admit first is help. I need help. Now, it becomes a bigger problem if you try to deny the fact that you need help. Now, what we see most time is some people believe that they don't need help. They behave like a superman, in quote, mm. which is the challenge sometimes. I, I discuss with the female folks who but eventually they are working, they are earning and all that. And they feel, no, I'm going to solve it out. I don't need their help. No, you need help. Because from the little you have, when you finish spending, what is there for you? For the emotion you share with the children, when you finish, what is there for you? Really why you see most single ladies even don't have opportunity to go and date. Hmm. at all, which is a bigger problem. So I said the first, the first rule is that you need to first love yourself. Hmm. And the way you love yourself first is to say, I need help, okay? So I need, I need. So I, I will give you an example. One day in my group, and a lady was talking about a child, and I said, if she was sick, then I asked her, is your son aware that you're sick? Ah, I didn't want to disturb her. I said, no, that's the big error. You need to let that child know, even seven years, mommy is sick. Go and bring a stop for mommy. Stay beside mommy. What you're teaching that child is how to be emotionally mature Attached. enough to know that I need to care and you need help. So the first rule is that you need to know and say to yourself, I need help. And secondly is ask for help. Hmm. Like the male caller said, fantastic guy. Yeah. He exactly. found that life has become easier. He said he would have gone Both yeah. <laughs> He could not reach out to his wife. He said yes. he would love. But thank God for that kind of man who would try to say the truth to himself and he's only enough. Hmm. He's humble. He's humble enough to demand for help when it's needed. And in a case whereby your spouse even can be rich, ask from someone ex, can you please come and, and talk? Can you please help? Can you please help? Which, which is a mere, which mere problem. Hmm. I, I, I think those two things are first critical. So in, in, I understand that that concept is wonderful, but the, let's look at it from the um, aspect of the social, psychosocial okay. um, challenges that okay. they have. So how do we, um, um, how do single mothers or fathers deal with the challenges of dealing with the psychosocial um, challenges okay, that they okay. have? Okay, uh, uh, for me, I, I do say something. Um, I, I ask people a question, uh, how many hands do you have? They say two hands. That means mm. all you have is, is two hands. And that's all God has given you to use. So exactly. you don't have to that because you don't need it. Mm -hmm. What you have is you. And our society is not mature enough to understand even what goes in the psyche of the man. Mm. I love what the caller, the male caller said by answering her when she said, mm. but men marry. It is not true. Men don't easily get out of it. As a matter of fact, research has proven that men even create, get more problems in themselves after divorce. Wow. Now, the reality is what we have is, yes, a man can, a man can marry or have sex, but not necessarily be involved. Mm. Okay. You can, so a guy can date, but he's not really available mm. in that regard because he's battling with issue. Number one issue is battling with failure. 
So the wrong thing you could do for a man who feel he has failed in this big goal is to even let him know he has failed. Mm. That is worse off. So, but going beyond the fact that people will stigmatize and all do that, all you have is yourself, and you have to say yourself, this has not made me a failure. Mm. I have gotten into this place not because I didn't do well, but because life does just not work well. The same way a lot of people invest in business and business is going on. Big organizations, as we spoke in this crisis, are gone. Mm. So it's not your fault. And if it's your fault, you own it. <laughs> Wait, Isi, there's someone asking a question. Our regular, a day from London, he says, Ooh. Evening, ladies, both guests need to remarry because it may have big effect on, on the, children the children as they grow. To be honest, parents that live together have important roles to play. Um, in the UK, I have a single mother as my neighbor who can't handle her son. She approached my wife and I for help. I assisted her by mentoring her son alongside my children. Um, God's grace, by God's grace, the boy is now a graduate. Wow. Do you agree with Ade that we have to remarry? Okay, if and, 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 and now th there's, no, there's no absolute answer. And it's thin, thin. it is important, it is important and is healthy to have both parents. And not just to have both parents, it's but to have, you can't have, both to parents. have, not just to have both parents, but to have healthy parents. parents. Uh -huh. Because research has proven that some children in a more dysfunctional home, in quote, grow worse than those who lived in a single parent home. Yeah. Okay? So, however, but this is the issue. And, and this is my recommendation. If you know as a single person, you have not been able to deal with the issues that is going inside of you, it is not good enough for you to go and escalate the issue by going to another relationship because you're going to create more problems. Exactly. Okay? Because living in a relationship doesn't mean you have a better relationship. So the first rule is, do you, have you admitted your, even what you need to do better in that relationship? What are you doing to make effort to be a better person in that relationship? And because the challenge I've seen in my practice is that the single parent keep pointing accusing finger to the other person, the other person. without looking inward. Mm. And when you do analysis and find that they find that really they are not really ready and they are not even good enough in, in that regard, they also see themselves. And why some people also don't want to take that move, they know by their instinct or by their observation that something is really wrong. I need for help. But the question is how many people actually seek for help? help. To be a better person. However, in the midst of you trying to be a better person, or there are even there's some people that they are not really bad, but circumstances just happen. Me, you know, yes. you, you good people. You know, I know that. <laughs> my 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 recommendation most time, my professional recommendation is try to expose your child to a healthy environment or a system. You could have a friend that if the, they have a good. Uh, uh, family system, send your child there. You could mm. have somebody in the church that send your child there. Because, you know, when you don't have money, you borrow. Mm. It's not easy. So exactly. borrow, outsource or your duty in that regard. Yes. I have friends. a problem with what you've just said. Excel, okay, please, let me know, please. A friend of mine, also, they had uh, some challenges in the marriage and she was sent to her I think her pastor, because then, this was many years ago, the okay. mother thought, oh, pastor was the okay. best person to go. And only for her to get there, and she was abused by the pastor, and mm. it kept repeating, anybody she goes to me. So, so, so also, parents, single parents, this is me putting myself in their shoes. They might be scared. I don't know who, I don't no, know to, you. To, 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 so to how do I even know the right person, if at all I need that help? Because my child how do I, Yes, how do I you see, know the right person to identify? Fantastic. You see, for the fact that business field does not mean we will not do business. Okay, but what you need to first know is that you need to build a very reliable and healthy relationship with your child, a very good rapport, very important. And in every step and every decision, you need to have that discussion and they understand where you're going and why you're doing what you're doing. Okay, for example, girl, that is not around, I will have better. Look at this obvious fact, this fact, this fact, they will turn better because of that. Let us do this. I am your mom, but you still get you have order. However, it is also important for parents, which is very important, to know how to check people up. Okay? And, and I will tell you, for example, we're having a discussion. For every time I sit, I'm looking. And I was having everything. I was having body language and all that. What we fail to do in this part of the world is that we neglect signs. Hmm. Okay? A child, I, 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 I'm, for example, I'm in a year state, for example, and a child does not do it. Do you know what it, it signifies? It just signifies that home. No, 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 no argument. It signifies the home. Probably the parent don't greet, or the parent does not see that there's important in greeting. Hmm. So I won't send my child there, okay? For example, a child can't play or can't interact. There's a problem somewhere. And let me say this, for that abusive pastor, 
there's a sign that you will see if you are someone who observes. For example, you ask a question, how do you behave in your house? Observe them. Do you talk about sex in your home? What is the experience? How does a man even behave to his wife? Also observing publicly the child and privately? around the pastor. Very important. Mm. Does he even give his wife opportunity to, to voice? Talk. Does, are the children bold enough or confident enough to express themselves the way they want it? So you have to look inwardly. Who do you want your child to be based on the child personality? Now so let me step in. A very short time. Quickly. quickly. Vulnerability. Yes. Okay. Now I have someone who has been through a lot because of the fact that she's single. She's a single mother. Now being a single mother has made her depressed and, you know, made her, you know, a withdrawal to herself. So because of that, she has felt vulnerable. And if anybody just pays her attention, she just goes with the flow. So how do you handle, or how does um, someone with that problem handle vulnerability? Okay, you see, uh, I, I can't give it a straight answer because we don't know what is the cost, really. Mm. Has, she, has she been abused? Does she have like a man in her life? What has happened in her past and all that? Does she have a trauma she's dealing with, uh, you know, and all that? Was she depressed as a child? Does she have a esteem problem? Mm. So has that been on that basis? Is, 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 is those problems involved in, in her life when she made that choice of the husband she married at that time? As, and she's replicating she that and all that? that we need to affected, know. That has or, affected her lack of esteem. Exactly. Or mm -hmm. in some cases, some marriage actually bring those deficiencies on people mentally and exactly. emotionally. Okay, so we need to know mm. where did they start and what is the problem to know how to deal with that. Mm. But in all, what is important is that this person needs to go for help. Mm. Mm. Now, it is very important, which is now the major problem. So, Excel, quickly, because oh. we don't have time. <laughs> if you were to give, like, you know, general, you know, um, healthy nuggets to a single parent out there struggling during, especially during this pandemic, overwhelmed and all of that, quickly, what would you tell them? How would you encourage them? What should they be doing? And how do they keep their sanity and stay in a lo still create that loving environment for the children, despite all that has happened? It's a, it's a simple thing you need to first win. You are not a loser, you're a winner. And you have to believe that. Now, you may say you don't believe, but look at, check at the assignments of your life. There's some things you have won. For example, even you have a child. Mm. Some people mm. don't even have a child. Mm. Mm. Somebody call mommy and daddy. Some people don't have that opportunity. And they wish, they have spent money, they have gone travel everywhere to go and save for medical, but they could not. So, somewhere you have won. And accept that, that second. You're a winner. The, you're a winner. The fact that your child can be alive, you can see. Second, another one is that there's an opportunity. Mm. You can see that there's opportunity in the future despite the obvious challenges. And again, I do say this. And single parents need to know this. The mm. fact you feel you are not the cause of your child's problem. Because mm. sometimes I see single parents trying to say, ah, you see this no child. I'm the cause of the problem. Mm. Look at this table. Mm. No, 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 don't blame yourself. Because even for children, in quote, who come from, in quote, healthy family, Environment. they still have their own challenges. Mm. Mm. So challenges is part of life. And you have to know and admit to yourself, see, this child has come into, in code, like they say, carry his own cross, mm -hmm. and they will get through. What you could do is to give them support. And don't, don't, take, don't take responsibility of all the crises because you are dealing with yourself. And the last one I do say this, your child will become you. Mm -hmm. So try to be a better person. Wow. Have fun, date, smile. Enjoy. You see, I say to a single parent, the best gift you can give your child is living a good life. Mm -hmm. And they will copy it. Mm -hmm. Date, there's no problem. Don't, don't be afraid to let, fail. Let them be happy. Let them be happy. And let them let see, them see you happy. You. But do you know the funnest thing? Most single parent children want their parents to have fun. Mm. But the parent withdraws. Wow. Why, we, <laughs> why, why does this happen to us all the time? <laughs> okay, thank you so yeah, much, Excel. Go. It's yeah. always a pleasure having you. Thank now, you so um, much. Please watch a repeat broadcast of this episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. You don't want to miss this. It's been a very insightful conversation. And keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you're saying. And in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. It takes a strong person to be a single parent and takes um, take on two roles. Um, you are amazing in your child's eye. Never forget that. That's from Anonymous. That's what Excel is saying. Yes. You are not the failure. So see you tomorrow live at 8pm. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>